What's up guys? Okay, today I'm coming to you with a short tutorial because most people are trying to figure out how to install sirens and audio files in GTA 5. First off, you're going to make sure you need GTA 5 working and it's working online. You've made sure it works online and single player. With that said, we'll go ahead and install <coughs> OpenIV. You need to install OpenIV in order to get this working. Once you get OpenIV installed, you're going to navigate to Grand Theft Auto 5. It's going to load up. It's going to do some updates. It might do some updates. You never know. And then what you're going to do is I'm going to make a mods folder. You're going to make a mods folder by going to your root of your GTA 5 directory and you just make a folder like this. Right click new, make a folder, name it mods. Inside that folder, every RPF that you have to edit, like whenever you go to install a mod, say it needs to be installed in this RPF or this one where you're going to right click and copy them and then you're going to paste them in here. So everything in here is going to get edited, but everything outside of the folder will remain the same. So it's like if you want to mod, everything in this folder will be used when you're using your mod version. And when you're not using the mod version, it'll load the default files when you go online. Because you can't go online, apparently, if you have edited archives. So with that said, and you have, after you get the mod folders done and everything like that, um, and you get everything you need, I would recommend putting x64 folder in there because that's where your audio is and that's where we're going to be going into SFX and resident right here that's where we're installing the, the siren today so once you get just the siren rpf inside of an sfx folder see inside of an audio folder that's inside of an sfx x64 folder inside of a mods folder so mods x64 audio sfx resident that's all you need to copy you don't need to copy any of this other stuff just the resident if you're only editing the resident there's no point in copying all this stuff Okay, now that you've done that, you can navigate back to OpenIV, and if you click the mods folder, it should show up. You're gonna hit X64 audio, you're gonna go to SFX, go to resident. Once it opens up, you're gonna go down vehicles. AWC is the file that has all the sirens and everything in it. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to go up to the top and go to new, import formats, and you're gonna, whatever you downloaded, see I downloaded the smart, smart siren, you're gonna go into that folder. Make sure you put whatever sounds you're, edit, you're gonna put in your uh, game into its own folder and name it whatever it is. And then you make sure you have the vehicles folder and the vehicles OAC in the same folder together. Once you're done with that, make sure you click on this one, click open. It's gonna say this, you click okay. It's gonna reload that file. That's all you have to do. That's simple, that's it. Now when you go in game, it should work. If it doesn't work, you need to make sure this sees the install plugin. You have to make sure you click this. If this that little red and black thing pops up, you definitely don't have the mod working. You need to install the ASI loader and you need to install the OpenIV ASI. Now it says they're both green lit, so click close, close it, and you can click the play button right here and run the game and it should work online with the siren. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Like this if it helped you and subscribe for more. See you later.